So hi, everyone. Um, welcome to our webinar, Rise of the Trades, the second in this series of uh, how open space gives specialty contractors a leg up in the construction process. I'm Valerie Ash. I'm Director of Enterprise Growth here at Open Space. Uh, forgive my voice. I'm just getting over a head cold, not COVID, thankfully. Um, so my voice is a little rough. Um, but I'm thrilled to be here today to share with you how our technology can help to mitigate risks and improve productivity for um, our specialty um, contractor customers. So let's take a look at um, um, our agenda for this session. And uh, sorry about that. I do need to share my screen with you all for the presentation today. Great. So we're going to begin today with uh, just a basic overview of what open space is for those of you who aren't familiar with us. Um, and then we will um, talk about uh, what we've heard from our trade customers about how they have um, benefited from our technology. Um, we are really, I think, more familiar um, to the GCs and some owners, and we're really excited about the untapped opportunity and potential in this area for those of you who are specialty contractors. So we'll also talk about um, our actual customers and what they have told us um, that they have benefited from it with using open space. And then we'll hear some stories from the field. We're really excited to have Commodore Construction with us today. And I'll introduce our special guest um, to you in a moment. Um, we have Gabe Munez with us today who is handling Q&A in the background. So he is the man behind the curtain. Um, and if you have questions during the presentation, please do um, submit your questions in the Q&A module and Gabe will answer them for you. We will um, look at some of those questions at the end of the webinar. And um, you can also just chime in in the chat uh, with the community of people who are here watching today. Um, but for questions definitely about what we're presenting, do submit those in the Q&A module. All right, and with that, let's talk about what open space is. We're a 100% automated passive capture solution that maps to 2D floor plans. Um, and then also automatically, our system automatically aligns to um, 3D models if you're using BIM on your projects. We integrate with major project management systems such as BIM 3, Autodesk BIM 360 and Procore. And we offer features um, in our platform such as field notes to allow you to flag and report on observations and issues in the field right within our platform. So all of the images that you capture from the 360 camera on a hard hat um, that we provide are stored in the cloud on our servers, and then you can easily access them on our desktop uh, browser app and only share the imagery with project stakeholders you want to share with using the access controls that we offer in our shared folders feature. So that's a mouthful. This is a quick picture of how it works, a kind of a video of how it works. It's a 360 camera mounted to your hard hat. You simply tap and walk from um, our app that you download onto a smartphone. Once you're at your starting point, um, you start walking and our computer vision automatically maps to um, your path. And so the first time that your path, that you walk your path, it takes, um, you know, roughly about 30 minutes to process and upload to the cloud and then be accessible via a browser. The more you walk that path over and over, let's say you capture once a week, the faster the processing time gets with artificial intelligence. So it's really, um, it's a really great productivity tool, helps you to capture the full 360 view of your projects much faster than you would with say, going around and taking snapshots with the smartphone or a tablet on your project. So in addition to the 360 capture, we also offer ClearSight, um, which is our progress tracking solution. And ClearSight is automated. Um, it just, the computer vision automatically counts and captures the materials that are installed. Um, and we have trackers that, we offer trackers that cover, that just track the percent complete of mechanical ductwork, drywall in various phases, um, electrical, and now concrete work. So um, this is real time automated, not manual. You don't have to manually track. This is the computer vision tracking from the 360 camera, what materials have been installed. You go back to your desktop and then you can create reports and see percent complete um, to help you manage your resources, um, labor, and to justify you know, 
um, the truth about how much work has actually been completed across a certain trade. Um, and the degree of accuracy is um, very good. It's, it's um, all from the visual data that you're capturing from the 360 camera. So there's no manual inputs, which makes the accuracy much better. And we do this from taking your own quantity takeoffs that you provide to us and then tracking it against also your schedule based on the start date. So um, that's something that our guest speaker is going to speak about um, as far as how he's using ClearSpite progress tracking on his projects as well. And we also are excited to offer a new feature coming up, um, 3D scanning from smartphones to take measurements from your 3D scans just from a smartphone within the open space platform. So this is coming, um, coming up soon. Watch, watch your um, headlines if you're following open space on LinkedIn or social media for more news on this. We're really excited about this feature. So just a little bit more about open space. We've been around since 2017. Again, um, you know, kind of starting with um, providing our tools to especially 360 Capture core product to GCs and owners. Um, mostly in the US, but we've quickly branched out to over 71 countries. We've, we're on projects, live on projects across 71 countries um, and, uh, and growing. So we're, um, we're well led. Our leadership has, um, this isn't their first rodeo. They've run companies, uh, technology companies for construction before and uh, well backed and we're gonna be around a while. So um, this is, uh, we're a well-established company that's that's definitely um, used across the world. Now, what we've heard from some of our trades customers is that you're bearing the brunt of a lot of um, communications um, disputes and issues um, that you know, manual photo capture with cell phones or even automated solutions um, is basically makes it really difficult to keep organized and to find the files to, to help with um, backing your work up in these disputes. So you're frequently blamed for damage, delayed or disputed work. You are dealing sometimes with idle teams um, and inefficient resource planning. Um, you're not always paid on time because the percent complete is uh, being disputed by the GC. And you know, technology adoption is hard in the field. People don't wanna learn something new, right? So um, it's hard to get people to do new things and to use um, fancy new technology, right? So. It also delays your, your work when you're not able to um, produce the proof of your work complete. So with open space, we've heard um, that, you know, basically there's very minimal training required. Um, it's snapping on a 360 camera, uploading an app, and then just making sure they sync. When you're using the desktop app to navigate through your, your walks, it's as easy as using Google Street View. It's the same kind of interface. Um, you're getting more accurate percent complete reporting on your work complete when you're reporting back to your GCs, and then um, you're getting more on-time payments. And this all is resulting in better relationships and repeat work um, with your ecosystem that you're working with on your projects. So it's my great pleasure to introduce David Niewodomski to you today. He's our guest speaker, and he's a senior project manager um, in New York for Commodore Construction. Um, so David, I'll hand it over to you um, to tell us a little bit more about you and how long you've been doing this work. Um, tell us more about the kind of projects you're working on and we'll, uh, we'll talk more about open space as well. Yeah, so I've been uh, using open space since the summer. Uh, prior to that, I've been in the construction industry since 2006. Um, so basically done every manual painstaking, you know, time taking up method to document a project or track progress complete. Um, you know, once I came across open space, it was like, you know, the best thing I've ever seen for everything I've gone through in the past. Um, and we currently are using ClearSight and core product on five projects, uh, one hospital and uh, three banks and actually make and then one tech company um, so we are using the full realm of uh, features on it um, we are also utilizing the bim module as well as beta testing on the lidar scanning feature which is uh, really really nice once you get to be able to start using that 
I can't wait to hear more how you're using that actually. Um, to tell us how you're using the BIM module and like on what projects and how that's worked for you. Yeah, so right now uh, we are modeling two projects where we're fully involved in the coordination process and being able to sync up the model where actually we'll track with the walk path. You can see the model side by side with what's in place. Um, we're using that in the field as well. Um, and in our, our foreman able to use it. Um, it's, it's faster at the office, but I think that things are uh, gonna progress better on the iPads uh, fairly soon. Um, but you're able to hide layers on the model. Um, it's really, really simple. Uh, you don't need to know how to use Navisworks to be able to run through the model when it's linked up um, and it, it'll track. And the, the customer support at OpenSpace has been fantastic to get the models aligned with each of the different pages. Um, and, and everything has been, you know, smooth sailing, um, getting that up and going. Um, so we're doing that on two projects currently. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it helps a lot. It helps the, the foreman to see what's going in. It also helps the project managers to be able to see that's the same and, and to try to stay ahead of it and push the project a lot faster. That's, that's awesome. What, what was life like before you were using open space? Like what, what kinds of problems were you running into or challenges? Yeah, so I mean, it's a, it's a lot more resources that need to be dedicated to a project to be able to, to track it, you know, not, not nearly as good too. Um, you know, I've, I've been on, you know, multiple very large healthcare projects where we've had a team just dedicated to documentation, uh, issues, log management, um, and so on and so forth. Um, the other thing that, you know, this has really helped that's changed, um, you know, being involved in the BIM coordination process is really important, um, but it, it doesn't work unless the information gets to the field. So this is just another simple way to get the information to the field so they see what everybody's coordinated to, and you don't have to have, you know, tons of shop drawings, um, and, and it's, it helps you be more productive as well because you you know what to do when you can see what's been coordinated. Cool. And you're talking about tracking. Like, what what exactly are you tracking, and on what kind of projects? Yeah. So right now we're we're tracking on the drywall and acoustical side of things. Um, mm -hmm. We will be getting into the concrete tracking here coming up. Um, but for right now, we're just focused. The five projects that we're active on are drywall and acoustical jobs. Um, and, and that in its, of itself is very helpful. It's helpful for billings. It's helpful for you know, tracking where you're at on the job for financial forecasting. Um, it's also helpful to see you know, as far as what's left to do uh, what, when you're comparing it to the schedule to kind of understand what kind of manpower you're looking at. Um, you know, for instance, on one of our larger bank clients, we are uh, you know, approaching the end date and there's some underground issues that are being resolved and it's all gonna become available at the same time. Um, and so we're able to you know, kind of look at that and really push the areas that we're able to proceed in so we don't have to double or triple our crew size in the field in order to meet the end dates. So with, with that visibility, it's, it's, it's helpful in you know, tons of different ways. It's not just how, what percent complete are we for our financial reports, um, but also being able to manage your job as you're going. That's awesome. Um, do you have any specific examples of, you know, or like stories about how open space has kind of helped um, with just speeding along a project or some kind of hard benefits, of what it's proven for your projects? Yeah, so I mean, it the, the cost for it is, you know, very small comparatively to get it on board, get everything set up. It's, it's very, you know, cost effective. And being able to have access to your walks and we walk weekly at the end of payroll. So we're, we're current to payroll end and where our progress tracking is done. Um, and this is allowing me to utilize the 360 view and in meetings, I can bring it up and I, I've done it basically every BIM coordination meeting um, where we're going through and showing areas like, hey, we've had these walls framed 
for two weeks and there's no rough end done. And I'm able to do that without having to spend two hours on the road because New York City is uh, you know, not exactly quick to get around um, and push the GC to push the other trades to get their work done where it's available because we're able to see that and, you know, sharing the screen helps and, you know, pictures are speak a thousand words. In this case, it's probably more like a million words um, because you've got multiple different things you can bring up. And how I, do you find that there are challenges? Cause I know you've worked on both coasts now, you know, between and, and some other states as well. Are there some unique yeah. challenges in New York that you're finding? Well, so on the progress tracking side, I had done it manually um, previously um, on large scale hospitals. And I was probably spending, you know, anywhere between, you know, 12 and, you know, 16 hours a week just to get the quantities and what's in place, walking the job, doing manual takeoff on OSC, going back, you know, figuring out the numbers, putting it into a spreadsheet. And this is replacing all that, you know, those resources spent. Um, with a simple, you know, 20 minute to an hour walk, depending on how big the job is. Um, and, and then I'll say the other thing I like, we're having our foreman walk it. Um, and, you know, one of the, I guess, unintended benefits is that it pushes the foreman to be able to go into every room, you know, so they know, like, if there's something missing that needs to be taken care of, and they're constantly getting visibility, um, whereas they, they may or may not do that. Um, and so it keeps them in the know on every you know, different angle um, of the project. Um, and it also you know, helps with identifying you know, trade damage um, and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it, you know, it's got tons of benefits. You probably you know, listed on you know, two pages how many benefits are you know, versus just what you're marketing for the product to be used for. And you talk about your foreman, you, know, you have your foreman using it and it pushes your foreman to kind of, you know, walk more frequently or whatever, but how, how has the adoption been in the field? Is it, you know, I talked earlier about the ease of use. Is it easy yeah. to go on board? Like, tell me about your experience there. Yeah. I mean, each different module and feature probably takes, you know, not even being sarcastic about five minutes to train somebody who's not very tech savvy. It's very simple. It's, you know, straight to the point, you don't have to go to a lot of different pages to get what you need done. Um, and it's really simple. And, and that also the simplicity of it helps with it, you know, widespread adoption. Um, you know, usually when stuff's complex, you might get pushback from the field. But in this case, it's, you know, very simple, it's easy, uh, it cuts out a lot of steps, and it gives you a lot more visibility. And you mentioned you don't need like Navis works to navigate through the model and all that. How does it work with your other tools and, you know, that you're using day to day? Yeah. So, um, you know, as far as other tools we're using day to day, um, right now we don't have it synced up as far as with our financial reporting. I know that's in the works, um, but, you know, utilizing BIM 360, we, we use BIM 360 glue for a lot of our coordination efforts. Um, and this just adds the simplicity part to it um, from something that can be pretty complex. I mean, walking through uh, a Navisworks model isn't the simplest thing that a foreman might be able to do um, until they spend a lot of time learning on how to go through it, how to fly gyroscoping and all that fun stuff. Um, this really locks it in and, and keeps it simple all the way through. Um, and the field notes feature is very nice. Um, I've actually had a project in the past where I've had a team of two people that were basically full-time with a whiteboard and a camera and an Excel spreadsheet going through and documenting all tons of issues. Uh, we used to call them measles maps and it was all over the place. And this will, you know, gives you the ease of the foreman being able to walk, take pictures, document it um, immediately. I'm able to go through those, you know, different items, assign it to RFIs or you know, is it a manpower issue? Is it a design issue? Who do we need to push to get these things resolved? Because when you're leaving a ton of areas apart, it's impacting you a lot more than you're going to realize until you get to the end of the job. When you see oh, my, my production has been terrible, why? We'll go back to your, your field notes issues log map and you'll see why. Um, and we're able to use these printouts of these uh, field notes to show you know, we've got a big problem. We need to get answers faster than they're currently coming. 
Um, so that's how we're able to manage upward um, with visuals like this and tie back so it can be easily accessed to see what what's the exact issue. Is it, you know, in wall rough and missing? Is it a dimensional issue? Um, and, and really get to the answers a lot quicker. quicker. Well, that kind of coordination requires a lot of accuracy, I imagine, too, right? So um, how have you been finding, I mean, of course, the 360 capture is a picture is a picture. It's not going to lie or, you know, 360 image. But what about with the progress tracking? Have you found the accuracy of that so far? Yeah, it's been good. And, and I know you guys are constantly developing to improve. And, and that's awesome. I'll, I will say that's one of the great things about open space is you're all really looking for feedback from us on how to make it better. Um, you know, how do you offer more from your platform um, and, and getting the accuracy for different conditions is going to be, you know, really, really important. And right now it, it's, it's good. It's uh, you see percent completes for multiple different tasks. You can tell what areas are in what stage. Um, and it gives you a solid percent complete on each different area, however you have your job set up and however you wanna track it. Um, so that way you're, you're looking at my, my 50% done with framing and 10% you know, done with drywall or another area, 70% you know, done and I have no drywall. Well, what's going on there? Why are we so far behind? Um, so it, it, helps, it helps a lot right now with financial reporting um, and soon to be with productions. Um, I, I really see that coming as a, you know, exciting part of it. Yeah, that's great. And, you know, you, you shared with me a little bit about, um, you know, you're a visionary person and you have kind of a vision for how all this can work. I, and how do you think this is benefiting like specialty contractors in general, you know, specifically in the whole like ecosystem of, of how a building is delivered? Yeah, I mean, so in the past we've had to, spend a lot on human resources to get information that, you know, you don't have the imagery accountability to verify it, um, you know, look at it from a plan view. Um, it's, it's, it's saving a lot of money on that stuff. And you're able to implement this on more projects um, before you, you would implement it on, you, you know, have a cutoff, you know, anything, uh, you know, over this price point or this many man days or however you want to set it up to where you're going to do, you know, actual progress tracking. Um, this gives it to a point where it's like, why aren't we just using open space on everything? Um, I mean, there's going to be projects where you're probably small rehabs or renovations where you're, you're just, you know, you're in and out. And by the time you walk the job's done anyways, that so you might not do, but, you know, for the most part, we're, we're implementing this on all of our, you know, anything that's over a month, in duration projects. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, you mentioned earlier that you are using the the 3D LIDAR scanning. Tell us more how that works and what you're using it for. Yeah, so it's really simple. It's just like the Field Notes app. You you know go down right next to where it says Field Notes and it says LIDAR scanner. You click that and then you scan your room until it says rooms fully scanned. Um, and then it uploads it to the cloud. And then when I'm in the office and that shows up, I can go in and do any type of measurements very accurately. Um, the imagery is good. You can see actually what you're measuring, whether it's a duct or a wall or a door. Um, and we actually had a condition, we're doing a, a very, a million square foot renovation for one of our banking clients. And uh, it, so there's a lot of existing MEPs um, and we're, we're you know, fully involved in the BIM coordination process and having to work around these massive trunks that, um, you know, aren't in the model, um, being able to work through that, you know, for instance, one of the examples that we'd spoke about before is we have a sound isolation ceiling and this between that ceiling and the acoustical ceiling is jam packed with MEPs. So we have to, instead of just making a flat ceiling, having to work up and around existing duct lines. And uh, we spent probably, you know, a good three hours, me and my foreman laying it out, figuring out where, you know, we can drop it and, you know, how much space that's going to get. And then I did it again with the LIDAR scanner and it took me an hour. So, you know, from spending six total hours with two people to spending about an hour with the LIDAR scanner, it was, you know, it's, it's a really nice feature where you can just go ahead and do that. The foreman just scans it 
and then I can do everything else back from the office and then send that up to our, our modelers and, you know, we're done. And, and I, let me clarify, that's from your smartphone, right? Like that's from the 3D scanner that's in the latest iPhone. That's for that. Yeah, going. we use, we use the iPad Pro, but yeah, we do the same thing. Yeah. So it's not, we're not talking about heavy LiDAR equipment, 3D scanners that you got to lug around. This is like right from your smartphone and it's, yeah. and it's within the, um, the open space platform. Yeah. I mean, if you want a real LiDAR scanner, you're probably spending 20 to $75,000. Um, and this is, you know, $1,500 iPad. Yeah. It's, it's so exciting. We're really excited to have this capability now. Um, and you know, it's part of uh, like our ongoing development and feedback from our customers, like you said earlier. So it's really great to hear that you're adopting that. Um, so again, watch for more news about that feature coming soon. Um, and you've been, you know, an early beta customer on that. So that's really exciting that you've uh, been able to test that out. Um, so, you know, how you've talked about like progress tracking, of course, you know, just the walking your site about once a week, I think you said with the 360 capture, um, the 360, the progress tracking can't work without capturing the visual data. Like that's how that works, right? So just want to clarify for those of you watching that, you know, you, you have to capture in order for our um, AI trackers to track what's in place um, from the imagery. Um, yeah. And how, how is all this kind of affecting your bottom line? You know, you're talking about time savings. Um, you know, is it, is it helping with your cost savings as well? Yeah, I mean, we're able to manage upward um, and that goes with the GCs and architects, um, you know, because everything impacts us. When you're on the specialty trade side, you know, especially in the carpentry, drywall, acoustical ceiling area, um, everything just snowballs downhill and we get hit with every issue, whether it's an MEP issue, underground issue, above ceiling, um, it doesn't matter. We get hit with everything. So with this, it, being able to manage upwards and really push the job um, is, is, has been really helpful because we can clear paths a lot better when, when the project managers have this type of insight um, and you know, being in markets like New York, um, every major city is the same way, having to spend a half your day in the car. And, and don't get me wrong, it's still important to go to the job because nothing really beats going to the job. But being able to more frequently be on the job with the you know, Google Street View option um, with open space is very helpful. Um, you know, every time I get the notification, your capture has been uploaded, I jump in it, walk the job, look at things. Have I got any questions? you know, understanding like, hey, we're supposed to do this area. Why isn't it done? Or, you know, what's going on? Why is, you know, this slab dug up? We're supposed to start framing next week. Um, and I can immediately get with the GC and get all this stuff figured out. Um, and, and so it, it's been very helpful as far as like the bottom line is concerned. Um, you know, that's where managing upwards, you know, helps it. Um, your margins will grow if you're using it properly and you're consistently using it and you're paying attention to it and not just doing it for doing it for, you know, documentation when, you know, if you ever need it. Granted, it's very good documentation and, you know, for if you ever do need it, there's, I haven't needed to like use it as far as, uh, you know, pushing back on any, you know, specific trade damage issues yet. Um, but I can see that coming into play um, on a lot of projects because you're gonna have that documentation with, who was working here, what was done when, who was in at what time. Um, and even, you know, we've had one of our hospital projects and, you know, this is a money saver where they're like, come lay out, come lay out, come lay out. And our superintendent had stopped by the day before, walked the job. We pulled up open space and we're like, you guys are not ready for us to lay out. There's the flooring's not even removed. Um, because you will get, you know, GCs who, you know, or pushing, pushing, pushing. But if you send somebody out there and then it's not ready, then they're just gonna, you know, you've got four lost hours until you can find another job for them to go to. Um, and so it's been helpful on like, you know, just random instances like that. You just never know when you're gonna need that documentation, what you can use it for. Yeah, that's great. Um, and what would you tell, I mean, there's some other people joining us here, of course, today. What, what would you tell some other um, 
trade contractors if they're looking for, you know, photo documentation solution or progress tracking, you know, and they're just getting started. Um, maybe they're looking at some other solutions. So what, what would you, how would you guide them? Yeah. And I, I have looked at other solutions. Um, I ended on open space. I really like their engagement with the trade, how important they see the feedback being, um, and really understanding that in order to make the best product, they need to have the best input. And the only way you can get that is from the people who are actually using it and managing it, who've managed it the manual way in the past and are seeing, okay, this is what I need it to do. Um, open spaces and their, their product development team have been fantastic. Um, you know, I've gone through stuff on jobs with them before um, in the re recent history and, um, you know, very receptive, receptive to it. Um, you know, with the integration of BIM, um, I don't know if other solutions have that. That was the first thing that really pushed me to being a big open space proponent was that because having that information so easy to access and being able to, you know, walk through it. Um, you know, most, ever, most projects are now getting a digital twin with, you know, BIM modeling and coordination. So that having that available was really important to me. And that was one of the, you know, kind of one of the things, not the only thing that made me decide on open space. The other thing, the pricing with open space was better. Um, and just your, you know, the entire team, everyone I've worked with at open space have been very, you know, proactive to get things done. If there's ever, you know, an issue, it's not very long until you get a response. It's pretty quick, actually, and surprisingly quick. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's been very good. Our experience since um, early summer has been really good. That's awesome. Well, we certainly enjoy working with you, David, and with Commodore. Um, you know, it's been great to get your feedback and direction on the product, and we are very open to that. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share before uh, we close it out? Um, I mean, anyone who's considering implementing a capture service um, and, and is you know looking at the upfront cost, which is very negligible in the grand scheme of things, you know, understanding what your hourly cost is to actually you know get the proper documentation or when you've had a job where you wish you had the proper doc documentation, how much of that cost you? Um, you know, I see open space as having an immense, you know, potential in things that they're not currently doing. Um, you know, with the AI that they've developed, it's really quick. Like I, you know, when our foreman walks the job, the captures, I think, is, you know, by lunchtime, they're already, you know, calculated what's in place and, you know, everything like that. Um, so it's very quick. You don't have to wait, you know, one, two, three days, which some of the other capture services might take. Um, you get it that day. So I think that's important. So you can get that immediate feedback um, and then start analyzing it. That's awesome. That's really cool to hear about your experiences. I, we all really appreciate you joining us today and sharing that. Um, and I just have a couple of other things I wanna share useful um, information with the audience before we close it out. Um, we are running a year-end promotion specifically for ClearSight progress tracking. So um, we, do, um, we do sell the trackers individually. So through the end of the year, this is a really pretty good deal. I think David can attest. You can buy one tracker and get one free. So we have individual trackers for, um, for mechanical, um, drywall, hung drywall taped, um, and then also um, electrical and concrete. So um, check this out. And uh, if you don't want a free tracker, if that's not relevant to you, you can buy one tracker and get either a free 360 camera or an iPad Pro. So kind of exciting little year-end push that we're promoting. And then also to David's point, um, we there our open space community is live. You can find this on our website, openspace.ai um, under resources and community, or you can go straight to this URL that you see on the screen, community.openspace.ai. The value of the community is our product team is accessible to you here if you have feedback for us or questions, but also as the name implies, it's other people just like you that are using the product or, you know, administering the product or managing projects. And you want to um, you know, talk to other people about, you know, maybe certain kinds of projects or how they're using it. 
Um, we also have our learning knowledge base where you can learn more, um, get support articles and things like that all for free. So um, go ahead and visit that and surf around, join the community. And we, uh, we also will have upcoming and following years, some community, regional community events and all kinds of things to, um, to get together and get to know each other. So that is it for today. If you wanna to see the product um, in action, reach out either to your account executive if you have one, if you don't, uh, please do email us at sales at openspace.ai. And we are excited to build the future with you. So thanks for joining us today. And David, thanks so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure having you today. Thanks for having me. Happy to do so. All right. And happy Thanksgiving to everyone here in the U.S. next week. We will do this again soon. Bye, everyone.